Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will use the equation of line of best fit to make predictions. And we will learn to write the equation of line of best fit for the linear relationship with the help of scatter diagram. We will see how we can determine the values from the equation. We will make use of slope and intersect to form the linear equation. We know that any linear equation is of slope intercept form that is y is equal to mx plus b there m is the slope and b is the y intercept and we also know that slope m is equal to change in y upon change in x this means m is equal to difference in y coordinates upon difference in the x coordinates and b is the point where the line meets the y axis and it is given by the orbit pair 0 b that is the point where x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate is b now when we draw line of best fit it is a straight line which is drawn so that all the points are close to the line on either side the line may also pass through more than two points so we will follow the given steps to write the equation of the line of best fit for a linear relationship in the first step we will draw a scatter diagram and then we will draw a straight line that is the line of best fit paying attention to the closeness of all other points and in the next step we will find the slope m for this line for this we will take any two points say this point with coordinates x1 y1 and this point with coordinates x2 y2 and both these points should lie on this line and these two points may or may not be the original data points and then slope m will be equal to change in y that is y2 minus y1 whole upon change in x that is x2 minus x1 then in the next step we will find the y intercept b and we know that b is the point where the line meets the y axis so here this is the point where this line of best fit meets the y axis so coordinates of this point will be 0 b and from this point we will get the value of b then in the next step Put all these values in the equation y is equal to mx plus b and this is the required equation of this best fit line and then we can determine or predict the values of y for corresponding values of x using this equation now let us discuss it with the help of an example here it is given data for students' math scores and their number of absents. Now for this data, we have to make a scatter plot and then we have to draw a line of best fit and then 
From this line of best fit, we have to approximate the linear equation that models the given data and also we have to determine how many marks will a student with four absence expect. Now first of all, let us make a scatter plot for this given data. For this, let us take absence on x-axis and scores on y-axis choosing an appropriate scale. And now we will plot all the other pairs on the graph like first pair, that is the first order pair is 365. For this, take 3 on x-axis and the corresponding point 65 on y-axis. So this is the point which represents the order pair 365. Similarly, we can plot all the other order pairs also. So we have constructed a scatter plot for this given data. And now we will draw the line of best fit paying attention to the closeness of all points. So we have drawn the line of best fit and this line is passing through some points. Now here you can see that this line is moving downwards. So it is a linear negative relationship. And as the number of absences increases, the mark score decreases. Now let us find the slope of this line. For this, we will take any two points lying on this line. Now let these points be 1.880 and 9.20. Now these points on the line are not given in the data. So the points we take on line may or may not be given in the data. We can make use of scale to find the points. Now slope m is equal to change in y that is 20 minus 80 upon change in x that is 9 minus 1.8 so this is equal to minus 60 upon 7.2 which is equal to minus 60 upon 72 into 10 which is equal to minus 25 upon 3. So slope is equal to minus 25 upon 3. Now let us find the y-intercept b. Although there are three points on y-axis in graph, but line passes only through one point that is 0.95. So line cuts the y-axis at this point. Hence, y-intercept B is equal to 95. So, the required equation of best fit line is y is equal to mx. Now m here is minus 25 upon 3. So y is equal to minus 25 upon 3 into x plus b which is 95. So required equation is y is equal to minus 25 upon 3 into x plus 95. Now also we have to determine how many marks will a student with 4 absence expect. It means for x is equal to 4 we have to find value of y. Now let this be equation number 1. Now putting x is equal to 4 in 1, we get y is equal to minus 25 upon 3 into 4 plus 95. 
and this implies y is equal to minus 100 upon 3 plus 95. Now this is equal to minus 100 plus 285 whole upon 3 which is equal to 185 upon 3 which is equal to 62 approximately. So a student with 4 absence can expect 62 marks approximately. Now let us see another method of finding intercept. Now we have already obtained slope is equal to minus 25 upon 3 and we know that equation of a line in slope intercept form is y is equal to mx plus b. Now take any point on the line. Let it be the point 920. Now let this be equation number 2. So putting x is equal to 9, y is equal to 20 into we get 20 is equal to minus 25 upon 3 into 9 plus b which implies 20 is equal to minus 75 plus b which further gives b is equal to 75 plus 20 which is equal to 95. So by this method also we obtain y intercept is equal to 95. So the required equation of best fit line is y is equal to mx which is minus 25 upon 3 into x plus b which is 95. So from this method also we can obtain equation of best fit line. So in this session we have learned to write the equation of best fit line for the linear relationship with the help of scatter diagram. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.